All right, time to go inside the numbers to bring you the news of the day. What Accor- time is it? It's uh, 7.37 there, okay, Genevieve. Thank you. Uh, according to the Rolling Stone, listen to this. According to a new study by Fender, the guitar company, 50% of all beginner and aspirational guitar players are women. When the company found similar results a few years ago, they thought it was um, a result of the Taylor Swift factor. But it seems to have been a lasting trend. Hmm. Women learning the guitar. Mm -hmm. Uh, This from the New York Daily News. New York City, the home to more than 8 million people, last weekend had zero shootings. How about that? It's the first time that's happened since 1993. Wonder what wonder what the record is for St. Louis. Um, this, listen to this. Thanks to a fungus called Hamelia vectrix, <laughs> aka coffee rust, has dramatically reduced coffee bean harvests. <gasps> Some 1.7 million coffee workers in Central America have lost their jobs. Coffee rust has affected 70 percent of the farms. And combined with low coffee prices overall, has devastated the coffee industry in the region of South America. See, that should be your top story. That's a big deal. That should not the key fob. (laughs) Nothing else matters but that coffee bean. And finally, according to a new study published by the Proceedings of the Natural Academy of Sciences, we humans have hastened the extinction of more than 300 species of mammals thus depriving them of 2.5 billion years worth of unique evolutionary history. Listen to this. The study believes that we are living in the middle of the sixth mass extinction. For reference, the fifth mass extinction was the one that killed all the dinosaurs. Food for thought while you're drinking your last sips of coffee you'll ever have. <laughs> you're not going to pay $20 for it. <laughs> Those are the numbers inside the news. Big 550 KTRS. Okay. Studio on Thursday, we go to Bespoke Apparel, 8500 Maryland in Clayton, across from the Colonial Marketplace. And it should be exciting. You know, they've outfitted some big celebrities. Like Deion Sanders and even Muhammad Ali and their suiting up soldiers. A worthwhile effort for veterans. More information on their website, thebespokeapparel.com. 